again, this is Dr. Tessa Lim and I'm a board certified dermatologist here in the Philippines. I'm practicing in the province of La Union. The topic today uh, that I will discuss is about psoriasis. Um, what is psoriasis? So I will just be reading this and trying to explain some uh, few, few things that I'm going to mention. I hope you don't get bored. Okay, first is psoriasis. Psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune disease. It results in red, skinny, patches on the skin, and then there are various types of psoriasis. So, the lesions look red, so magpula siya. Skinny, so may makita kang mga, um, uh, mga nagbabalat sa itaas, and then, uh, what else? Patch patches, mga patch eh. Although the patches are big, so medyo malalaki siya, and nakaangat, so it's elevated. Uh, so, there are different types. The most common type is black type psoriasis. So, uh, black type is the skin is red um, uh, at the base uh, and then it's covered by silvery scales. So, what's in that being silvery scales? It's, ano, it's uh, very dry. It's dry, dry na palat. Um, as opposed to a condition which looks similar to psoriasis, which is a break dermatitis. Uh, the scales for psoriasis is uh, dry. Okay, so, pag sa derm, medyo uh, oily na moist yung scale. Pero kapag psoriasis, it's dry. Next is guttate psoriasis. Uh, for this one, the lesions are smaller. Sin maliliit siya na mga uh, papules, yung lumalabas sa skin. Next is inverse psoriasis. This one looks like um, intertrigo. It looks like a fungal infection, but it's psoriasis. It's smooth red patches in the folds of the skin. When you say folds, yung mga singit-singit. Um, sa sa kilikile, sa may singit, gano'n. Pustular psoriasis. This is pus filled blisters. Um, pag sinabi yung pustules, it's nana. So, uh, it's full of pus. Pero the pus for this one is sterile. Malinis siya. Wala kang makuhang um, bacteria kapag um, green am stain. Next is erythrodermic psoriasis. This one is when it's red, extensively red. So it's severe, widespread, red, scaly skin over much of the body. So it's like everywhere. Pula siya. So what are the symptoms of psoriasis? Psoriasis is characterized by patches of thick, red, scaly, and silvery scales on the elbows, knees, scalp, lower back, face, palm, soles, and feet. So what you will see is the lesions have a site of predilection. So, dun siya lumalabas. Uh, sa elbows, sa knees, sa scalp, there are also lesions on the fingernails, toenails, um, there are certain signs that we check, uh, there are specific skin lesion na lalabas sa mga kuko, which we have to check. Uh, there. So, there, meron siyang mga sites na dun siya commonly lumalabas. And then, um, the lesions uh, look like the ones that I mentioned a while ago. So it can affect other areas as well. So, yeah, like I mentioned, fingernail, toenail, genitals, and mouth. It may also cause an itching, burning, and or stinging sensation on the skin. So oftentimes it's very itchy. So what causes psoriasis? So psoriasis causes part of the immune system to become overactive and attack normal tissues in the body. So it's an autoimmune condition. Skin cells rise too fast and pile up on the surface. So, yung normal na turnover ng skin, imbis na certain number of days, doble. Mas mabilis talaga. Kaya kumakapal agad yung balat. It becomes scaly. A person with psoriasis may experience flares. So, when we say it's a flare, big sabihin medyo madami. Uh, malala yung condition at that time. Um, ang, ano yung nagkakost ng flare? It can be caused by infection, stress, changes in the weather, Cut scratches. Okay, for cut and scratches, there is a condition called um, Kebner phenomenon. It's when you scratch the lesion, may bagong lalabas ng psoriasis. Um, some patients they don't know that, especially the ones who are new, newly diagnosed with psoriasis. Um, they would scratch the lesions, kamutin nila, tapos they would, they don't know na when they scratch it, it will cause a new psoriasis, psoriatic lesion to form. Uh, for females. Uh, if they have like tight clothes, so kunyar, it's a waistband area, medyo fitted, um, unknowingly, nagra-rub yun eh, magra yun sa skin, it can cause a psoriatic lesion to appear. Uh, even an underwear, uh, 
yun. And, um, so I always tell all my patients, please do not scratch the lesions talaga. Huwag. Kasi kakapal siya. Mga lalapad, lalaki. Okay? Yun. And then, what else? Sunburn. Okay? Huwag magpa-araw masyado. Um, here in the province, I am privately practicing here in the province of La Union, here in the Philippines, where the beaches are just a few minutes from from my clinic. There's some patients, ano, they want na magpa-araw, kasi they say, Doctor, meron kasi phototherapy, di ba parang araw din mo? It's not. Um, it's a different kind of um, treatment. Because in phototherapy, ano siya, um, regulated yung uh, type of light that you are exposed to. And um, when you burn yourself under under the sun, literally, kapag nag nagpatusta ka sa labas, patusta, if you roast yourself outside, then um, it can cause a flare up of your psoriasis. So don't do that, okay? Magingat, don't po mag magpaaraw. Hindi ko siya in advocate magapply na sunscreen. Don't forget to apply your sunscreen, um, okay? Whenever you go out, and or Next is, am I at risk for psoriasis? Anyone can get psoriasis. It often occurs in adults, in children. Um, children can also get it. I've seen um, little babies have it. Um, little kids get it. Um, men and women seem to have an equal risk. Genetics have been associated with psoriasis and therefore may run in the family. So, uh, when they say that genetics may play a role, yes. Because if you have one parent who has it, of course, there is a higher chance for you as a child to get it. So I always ask, meron ba kamag anak na merong psoriasis? And oftentimes there is. But still, that's not, hindi lang yun ang criteria. Meron din ikaw yung una. Oh, or baka hindi nila detect na meron pa ng psoriasis yung mga iba nilang ano, far uh, malala yung kamag anak. So, you know, so the goal is to control it to um, have as little uh, lesions coming out of, as possible. Para, diba? it, it also affects you as a, as, a, as a person, your well-being psychologically, how you present yourself, um, your confidence in, in work, in studies, because it's everywhere. Literally, it's everywhere. It's not like other skin conditions, like acne, nasa mukha lang yan eh. And when the pandemic happened, many patients with acne, hindi ko masyado nakita at the start of the pandemic kasi was hidden. Di ba? Lahat tayo naka-mask or which is at home. So, they, they weren't really parang actively trying to see consultation. But for psoriasis, it's different. It can go in, it can come out anywhere. Di ba? Pwede nandyan lang sa elbow mo, di ba? Pwede yung tago. And um, that would be great if uh, it wasn't exposed. But it's everywhere. It's in your scalp. It's in your nails. In your legs. There's a flare. It's really something that you can't hide. And as you know, you really need to uh, go to a board certified dermatologist so that you're guided, that you're applying the right medications, that the medications is um, for your uh, severity of, of psoriasis. Baka yung mga pang matatapang na yung nilalagay mo, hindi naman pala dapat nilalagay. It's a side story already. Um, living here in um, the province, before I, I practiced in Manila when I was starting my practice as a dermatologist and then I married my husband and he's from the province of La Union. So I had to, you know, be uprooted. He was from Manila then, studying. But when I went here, this was when I began to see um, severe psoriasis that was self-medicated with um, long-term topical steroids. I've seen a couple. Marami na rin ako nakita ng mga nag-self-medicate ng topical steroids. And the side effect is this condition, which is called Cushing's. And instead of treating the psoriasis, now I have to refer the patient to an endocrinologist to treat the side effect of the topical steroids that they long-term applied. They long -term applied. Um, Diba? Nakaka-frustrate. Dahil walang kamot. They just resort to self-medicate. Naiintindihan ko, ako din bilang doktor, I, I feel, diba, helpless na I cannot help. Na hindi ko kayo matutuman. Okay, but 
but there is hope because there are a lot of medications now, new medications that have come out. Um, we call them the biologicals. Um, before puro topical, yung susubihin sa yun doctor topical and some oral medications like oral methotrexate, acetylene, ganyan. But now, we're in an age that biologicals are available for us, for us doctors to um, to give us treatment to patients with psoriasis. And again, the results are, are, are wonderful for that. So, diba, uh, I, I suggest you go to a board certified dermatologist if, uh, if they're treating you already. You could ask about that. I'm sure they know that already, diba, if they've offered it to you. Or if you're a new patient or you're wondering, oh, meron ko ba psoriasis? Do I have psoriasis? Go to a doctor, go to a dermatologist, the PDS dermatologist, and she can guide you through it and um, tell you what the options are, what the treatments are. Baha naman hindi psoriasis yan, di ba? I'm just overthinking. Oh, yun. So, yun. Na-divert tuloy yung <laughs> kwento. Anyways, um, next, how is psoriasis diagnosed? So, psoriasis diagnosed by... Um, actually, there's no special test. Eh. Okay? So, uh, it may resemble other... However, it may resemble other skin conditions. Like, for example, separate dermatitis, um, and allergic contact dermatitis. Actually, they, they look alike by certain conditions. But the board-certified derm, uh, like myself, we can... Uh, see the lesions and clinically assess if it is psoriasis. Okay. And then, the doctor, okay, so the doc dermatologist may decide to have a biopsy. So, the biopsy will confirm. So, for example, you go to the derma, titignan ka nila, titignan ka namin, and then we will assess yung buong katawan, lahat ng affected areas. We, we could suggest a skin biopsy. What is the purpose of the skin biopsy? It's for confirmation. Kasi, Lifetime na sakit ito, it's not enough. Ah. I personally have my patients biopsy for confirmation so that they know na ito talaga yung meron. Is psoriasis contagious? Hindi siya contagious, no. So, it's not infectious. Hindi siya parang COVID na mahahawa ka. Which means a person cannot con contract psoriasis through human contact. So you can hug their loved ones. This is the treatment for psoriasis. So like I said, there are topical treatments, there are systemic treatments like oral methotrexate, acetratine, and so forth. There is light phototherapy. I did not mention that. Um, this is um, like MBUVB, like uh, phototherapy. You go inside a chamber, like a room na maliit, papasok ka, and then your, your skin is irradiated by a certain um, short period of time and you have to do that and you will see a lot of improvement, good improvement, great results with this, with psoriasis. Um, again, um, I, I forgot that, that to mention the biologicals, you know, the new back option for psoriasis. Uh, do topical treatments really help? Yes. Um, topical treatment is the first line in all severity. You know, mild, moderate, severe, and then siya or a, a topical treatment. Um, so topical treatments come in a range of preparations including a cream, ointment, gel, lotion, and um, spray. So a spray para scalp. Effective therapies are available regardless of the location of psoriasis including topical um, treatments. What else can I do to manage psoriasis? Um, so set up, step up, to psoriasis by taking an active role in managing your condition. So, visit your dermatologist regularly. Maintain overall health. Pero nalili, meron kang ibang sakit, or you're smoking, you're drinking alcohol, you will have more psoriatic flare-ups. Next is, uh, join a support group. There is a support group for the Philippines. We call it Sorfail. You can join that group. You can Google them. I know they're in Facebook. Um, you're not alone. Right? I tell um, my patients I've seen a lot of this because especially the newly diagnosed ones, they don't know anyone who has it, especially if they're the first one in their family. So I tell them, you're not alone. Right? And it's not contagious. Um, the psychological effects of the condition, I do feel that when I meet the patients. And I try my best in what way I can to, to guide them on how to properly apply the medications the best way I can. Lahat yan, lahat ng party gagamutin natin para um, 
makontrol ng psoriasis. This video is taking quite a long time now, but you know, that's all what I have to say about psoriasis. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you like this. Um, you can also hit the notification bell to know if I uh, posted a new video. Um, I, I see you. I'll be seeing you on my next uh, videos in the future. Bye.